In this video, we will discuss the effects of transactions of the respiratory center at different levels and the effects of denervation of the vagus nerve and denervation of the chemoreceptors. Autonomic involuntary respiratory center is the main stay of respiration and is located in the pons and medulla. So where are the expiratory and inspiratory center? Expiratory center is in the upper pons and inspiratory center is in the lower pons and medulla. Transactions at different levels in the respiratory center produce different pattern of breathing. So a complete transaction of the brain stem above the pons does not affect the breathing and a regular breathing continues whether vagi are cut or intact. And a complete transaction of the brain below the medulla stops the breathing. If the vagi are cut or intact doesn't matter. So a complete suction above the pons does not affect the breathing and a complete suction section below the medulla it stops the breathing. Why it stops the breathing when a section is made below the medulla? Because the effector organs, the respiratory muscles are completely detached from the respiratory centers and are not stimulated. Number three, transaction between the nematoxic and the apneostic center. What does it do? So the vagus nerve that innervates or inhibits the inspiratory center is also involved in this section. If the vagi are intact, the regular breathing continues when a section is made between nematoxic and apneostic center because vagal will inhibit the excessive inspiration. But if vagi are also cut, this leads to sustained contraction of the inspiratory muscle. This is called apneosis because inhibit reaction on the inspiratory neurons of both nematoxic center and the vagus are gone. Now transaction in the inferior pons between pons and medulla. This will separate the inspiratory neurons in the medulla from the nematoxic center. Separation of pons from medulla causes irregular and gasping breathing but rhythmic because of a spontaneous rhythmic discharges from the respiratory neurons. So the respiratory neurons in the medulla produce rhythmic discharges but irregular and gasping breathing will continue. The inspiratory neurons are innervated by nematoxic center and vagus nerve and both of them inhibit that. Pontine nematoxic respiratory area inhibits the inspiratory center and Number two, it makes the rhythmic discharges of the medulla smooth and regular. So when pneumotoxic center are, is gone, the breathing becomes irregular and gasping. Pneumotoxic center inhibits the apneosis. Number four, a spinal cord transaction above the origin of phrenic nerve, that is above C345, the root value of phrenic nerve, it is stops the breathing. And what if there is bilateral phrenic nerve palsy? A bilateral phrenic nerve palsy causes labored respiration. How how inspiration is inhibited or what's the effect of vagotomy on breathing? Stretch receptors in the lung via vagi inhibit the inspiratory neuron in the medulla. So lung inflation in inspiration inhibits the inspiratory discharges. This is known herring brewer reflex. This is why vagotomy increases the depth of inspiration. And number two, pneumotoxic center also inhibits the inspiratory neuron. What's the effect of denervation of carotid chemoreceptor? Denervation of the carotid chemoreceptor abolishes responses to hypoxia and to increase hydrogen ion concentration more than it affects the carbon dioxide effect. Slight decrease of carbon dioxide effect